Hi, today's date is the 6th of June. Um, plenty of news here. Uh, majority of it won't be uh, featured in the mainstream. So let's get into it. There's a four day week trial in the UK. So you work four days, you get paid for five. Oh, it sounds great. However, I think it's just the slow sort of meandering way towards universal basic income. Um, there's a, a chip shop in Norfolk apparently that's gonna do this, which is odd. I really find that odd. There's 70 companies and 3,300 employees in this trial. Mm. There'll be a couple more UBI ones further up. The London Metal Exchange has had a lawsuit fired, filed against them for the, how they handled the nickel saga a couple of months back when they stopped the market completely, reverse trades and stuff like that. So yeah, interesting. A Zero Hedge article, the great robot replacement. There's been a 40% increase in orders in quarter one of 2022. As I've said in many t uh, videos, uh, robots and A.I will replace between 85 and 90% of all workers. So robotic cars, taxis, trucks, everything. If you look at uh, Amazon warehouses, for example, that will be how it always is. There is going to be a world WAR for bread soon, apparently, um, due to the uh, country beginning with U crisis. The UK faces a food price shock. It cannot outrun. And living in the UK, I can see the inflation is every day is somewhat different. I went and bought some fruit a couple of days ago. It was 15% uh, costlier than it was the previous Saturday. So yeah, if they keep telling us it's eight, 9%, I always double it and uh, you won't be too far wrong. Eight pound pints of beer now in London. Now London's always been expensive. If you go there and you want to have 10 pints, you, you, I've always thought, well, it's going to be 60 pound. Now apparently it's 80, so there you are. That doesn't uh, bode well for uh, public houses down in London. In the UK, wind farms and nuclear electricity could be exempt from windfall tax. That's no surprise. Germany now faces a cigarette deficit after a factory in the country beginning with you uh, has shut down. Now this article is, um, I'll, uh, I'll do a picture of it, but I'll have to black out the news provider. In the US, there's going to be student universal basic income. Um, so yeah, I've attached an article, well, I've done a picture of the article. Um, please just type in using pre-search or Brave and you'll get all these articles. I won't link them anymore. That's probably, I'm pretty certain that's why um, my channel was uh, white a couple of weeks ago. This one I keep going on about, the UK age verification app, Yoti, Y-O-T-I. I mentioned last week, cinemas are now looking to adopt it and supermarkets have been trialing it for a few months. So um, just uh, keep your kids away from it. It's not convenient at all. In Switzerland, um, uh, they are risking power shortages next winter. And that isn't the first article about this. I've been mentioning this for months. Another article, will gold top its $2,075 record high as inflation soars? Uh, I, I don't believe it probably will do, but do your own research. Central bank digital currencies. Can KIWL private crypto, says India's deputy governor to the International Monetary Fund. That's because they are trying to wipe out all of crypto. There'll be one or two that survive and they'll be the ones that can be, uh, um, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. A Bank of England executive says digital currencies could be important for central bank balance sheets. Hmm. In the UK, builders and construction companies are adding a 20% hedge for inflation. I work in the construction industry and I can see it myself. In the US Midwest, um, they are in danger of rolling blackouts this summer. 
there you go blackouts shortages utilities oh it's just it never ends diesel in the u.s prices are going up more than prices for crude oil so again makes you wonder exactly what's going on there but we all know what's going on i'll leave that to you to decide and finally iran has proposed a new currency for trade with china uh, ruski land india and pakistan and they want to call it a eurasian currency so e-u-r-a-s-i-a-n so just like the 1984 um book that appears to be some sort of thing they're following um yeah they're using that word eurasian there was three continents and that was one of them so yeah um just a quick one please like please subscribe if you haven't pass on to as many as you can i'll see you on the next one